All right, today we're going to deal with a Takiya specialist. This Muslim right here, winner take all one, is one of the worst I've ever met. He straight lies. I cornered him so many times with stuff. He can't answer it. And he just runs on to the next thing and he just spouts stuff out. Um, you know, talk is cheap. So let's read this here. <clears throat> this is a comment he made on my video. And my video was named Jesus was God. Quran, Dead Sea Scrolls, Book of Isaiah. Okay, now in this video, I use the Quran, Dead Sea Scrolls, and the Bible, and the Book of Isaiah to prove Jesus Christ in the flesh without contradicting the Quran. Now this video is about 30 minutes long. You know, it's kind of long, but if you ever have time, you should watch it because I lay it out. You can't deny it. Um, at By the end of the video, you know, the only thing a Muslim can do is just say, well, I don't care. I still believe the, the Quran. So anyway, irrefutable evidence. So this is what he writes to me. He says, please put your fake God Jesus to the test with following verse from Quran. Now, the first thing I'll point out is he says your fake God Jesus. You know, yet Muslims claim we respect Jesus more than Christians. Well, you'll see this type of stuff all day long. And this isn't even a bad one. I mean, this guy has said so much trash about Jesus yet, you know, they respect them? Yeah, okay. And the second thing I'll point out is he says, put him to the test with this following verse. So he's trying to corner me into the Quran chapter 12, verses 1 through 4, as if these are the only verses I can use. Okay, well, the Quran is a big, is well, it's not a big book, but the Quran contains more than just this. So if the Quran is perfect, like Muslims claim, I can use any chapter and verse. I don't have to use this one. But let's just check it out. Now he says, verse 1 says, He is God, the one and only. Another thing I'll point out is, how can Allah be a he? How can he be a he? Muslims still can't answer that one. Um, you know, according to what they think Allah is, it's different than what we know Yahweh is. So according to their, Yahweh can't even be a he, but they refer to him as he. It makes no sense. Two, God the eternal, absolute. He begetteth not, nor is he begotten. And there is none like unto him. There it is again, him. Makes no sense. But there is none like unto him. Okay? So he's telling me I have to use that to prove Jesus, you know, was God in the flesh. Um, this is an email. Then he sent me an email. Okay? And it says... Did you say you can use the noble Quran to prove Jesus is God? And he says, winner take all, one, take, you know, call your bluff. So he's calling me out. Um, and he says, put your fake God, or put your God Jesus to the test in the noble Quran. If Jesus passed the test, look at this. I will be the first to follow your denomination. Well, I'll explain to you. My denomination is I'm a Bible believing Christian. I believe the Bible. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, all the way to Revelation chapter 22, verses 21. Verse 21. I believe that. All of it. Everything in between. Cover to cover. So that's what I am. So he's saying he's going to follow that. However, Jesus, and he puts in lowercase, you know, he'll, he always does stuff like that to make people mad. Um, is going to fail and fail miserably. You see how, the, you know, like I said, they disrespect him. Um, and then I'll, I'll leave it to you. If you want to abandon Christianity and revert to the original religion of Islam. Okay, well, Islam came, you know, a minute, you know, at least 600 years after Jesus died. Right. So it, but now all of a sudden it's original. Well, if you want to talk about original Judaism goes back even farther. You know, Christianity stems from that. But Judaism, okay, you want to talk about original. It's ridiculous. Now he says, let's begin, and okay, he goes back into it, um, Allah, one and only, okay, um, he goes into all of that. So, let's look and see. Quran, chapter 19, verse 19 says, the angel Gabriel responded, nay, I am only a messenger, and from thy Lord, to announce to thee the gift of a pure son. Pure son. Hmm. Okay. Allah, there's none like him, right? He's the one and only. Well, let's look here. 99 names of Allah. 
Oh, look at that. What is that? Al Qudas? I don't know how to pronounce that, but and look at that. The pure one. Hmm, the pure one. There's none like unto Allah, huh? The pure one, the pure son. There it is. From the Quran. So I just showed you that Jesus is. The Quran does say Jesus is God in the flesh, doesn't it? Okay. Now, where was that other email? Oh, yeah, right here. He says, there is none, none like unto him. Oh, really? None like unto him, huh? Okay. Well, that's not what the Quran says. The Quran says that he... Allah breathed into her, that's Mary, his spirit. That's how Jesus was born. And he's a pure son. Okay? So, I just proved you wrong there, buddy, by your own Quran. So it looks like you're going to become a follower, right? Looks like you're going to pick up that Bible. Praise God. The Bible says angels in heaven will rejoice when you repent. Now, also, there's another thing he said here um, that we might as well deal with. He says, the Quran says, he is begotten, okay, nor, he is begotten not, nor is he begotten. Was Jesus begotten? Answer, Christians insist and persist that Jesus was begotten by God. Jesus had an earthly mother. Well, guess what? The Quran says Jesus was begotten by God too, and says Jesus had an earthly mother. Where does it say that? Well, let's look. Right here. Okay? Quran chapter 21, 91 says, like I showed you, he breathed into her, Mary, his spirit. And that's how Jesus was born. So, Jesus had an earthly mother, and his father was the spirit of Allah, according to the Quran. All right? So according to the Quran, Jesus did not have an earthly father. Now did he? So Allah's spirit begot Jesus. And that's according to your Quran. So verdict, yeah. Quran, Muslim, fail. Straight from your own Quran. There it is. Now also I'd like to point out this before I stop this video. Um, this person here this Christian, um, reposted an excerpt of one of the emails I wrote, and this is what I said, proving that Quran itself says Jesus has no human father. I just showed you that in the Quran, but rather that Allah's spirit is Jesus's father. That's what the Quran says. This is what Muhammad said, right? Yup. I want to ask all Muslims, what other human being in all of history had no human father. Okay, and, and they wrote back, great question, but expect no answer. Muslims always scatter like roaches when light comes on. When the light comes on, yep. Now, that's my question. What other human being had no human father? And how can you say that Allah didn't beget, uh, beget Jesus when in Quran chapter 21, 90, when it says he did? The spirit of, of Allah begot Jesus. Okay, it's right there. And I'm sorry, but a human mother and the spirit of God together does not equal a regular man. So there you go. Islam is just full of contradictions. It makes no sense. It's totally incoherent. And it tells you it came from the mind of one man, saints. One man, saints. That's it. So that's all in your Quran. Right? I didn't quote one Bible verse, so you can't complain. And it looks like this guy, winner take all, lost. He challenged the Bible, and he lost by the, his own Quran. And it looks like he's going to be coming to Christianity. I will be the first to follow your denomination. Well, all you need to do is repent and ask Jesus into your heart, my friend. And he'll forgive you for your sins, and the angels will rejoice in heaven. So, there you go. Good day, and God bless.